Um, we are doing the bush trips. We are now working on leg 18. And somewhere, this is a picture of the destination in leg 18. Somewhere down here, we're thinking it's this here, is a runway. So hopefully, once we get into the game and the uh, nav log, we'll have a slightly better picture for us. Because at this point, we can probably make the general area. Picking out the runway when you don't even know what the runway is could be a little difficult. Okay, ready to fly. Susanville Munn. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click ready to fly. Take a look outside. Move the map. And we are going from CSVE to CA11. So let's just zoom out here a bit. Oh, whatever way. We're on the downward leg now. Okay. Now we can follow that water, big body of water there. All right, so we'll take a look at the nav log. And um, I'm going to say, unfortunately, the picture in the nav log is even worse than the uh, leg preview window. I don't know. Maybe yeah, there will be a light or something down there. Who knows? It, it looks to me like it's that strip right there by the, the center of the screen, but... Um, a little bit right of it. Yeah, there's, there's a split maybe three in quarters the of the way down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, let's take a look here. Honey Lake departing from Susanville, California, Route 36 transitions into the southeastern branch of U.S. Highway 395 as the road winds its way toward mountains in the distance. Eventually, you'll arrive at the northwest shore of Honey Lake. Continue along the highway past this vast World War II era bombing or bomb testing site and begin gaining altitude for the stretch ahead. All right, well, let's get in the air and see if we can't figure this out as we go. Okay, so I am see you way back there. Yep, I'm heading I'm, 116 and we got to go to 130. Yeah, I'm heading 115. You know, I'm going to actually back up a bit because they got me very close to the end of the runway here. And how does one back up? Well, it's the pushback feature in the game. So it is a shift P for pushback. I could probably take off from that distance, but it's it leaves me no room for error. Huh, weird, my controller just started vibrating. Hmm. They've been backing up for what, 30 seconds now, and then it just decided it was going to vibrate? She's breaking oh, yeah. up. And one of us has to remember, once we land somewhere, to try and do so Shift P. Yeah. See if it will stop us. This is probably a good one to try it on because it's not that far. So you get nine, um, 12, 12 14, 15, 16 minutes, 17 minutes. Well, I'm saying 28.8 miles. All right, 18 minutes. All right, so. All right, yeah, so heading a 130. All right, let's close that window. Let's go ahead and stop backing up. So, oh, it has to be left shift, doesn't it? But of course, two hands to do that one. Well, I could have probably done it. All right, so I got some flaps. How's your fuel? Um, fuel is 46%. Thank you for reminding me. 
I'm gonna go ahead oh, and he should be good. Well, it any, uh -huh. just to just to be safe. I know okay. it's at sixty-two percent, but oh, this way I don't forget it on the next leg. Yeah. Well, we know what happens when you forget and you run out of fuel midair. Mm -hmm. You can refuel midair, but it still counts you as having run out of fuel. And even though you successfully land, it says, nope, do it again. You got a, a limousine coming by you on the left in the road. Yeah, that or they just stretched cars because there's two of them. <laughs> to my left, though, there's no road here, but I saw two vehicles. It looks like a truck now. They're stopping and they're turning around before they ever get up here. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, full throttle. Towards 130. And lose the flaps. And get our airspeed up. And we have to, it said at some point we have to start gaining altitude. Okay, so there's that big body of water. Actually, let me get it this way. This is their destination, CA-11. We just left here. Well, that, that's not the big body of water. That's the first pond. That's going to be this one up here. Alright, so. So, departing from Susanville, California, Route 36 transitions into the southeastern branch of U.S. Highway 395 as the road wends its way toward mountains in the distance. Eventually, you will arrive at the northwest shore of Honey Lake. So that's going to be this big one here. This is going to be the northwest shore. So continue along the highway past this vast World War II era bomb testing site and begin gaining altitude for the stretch ahead. Okay, so there's the big lake up there. So we want to be just on the right shore of that. Windows. Yeah, I wish I had an idea how high we need to be to get beyond wherever we're going. So it tells us we need yeah. to, we're going to need to gain altitude. So right now I'm oh, oh, just dropped to okay. So I'm probably averaging around 60 frames per second. I'm at 68, 70. Really? Huh? Yep. Give me the monitor. Fresh rate on it. Well, it should be. My monitor does 144. I know yours is 165, but that shouldn't make a difference unless it got up to 144 or 165. All right, what does the next time? part of the lake say. Ok, 
Okay, Milford Road Fork. Further down the highway, you'll see a mountain rise far off in the distance. But just before you reach it, you'll come to a fork in the road. One path bends around the mountain, the other runs directly toward it. And so will you. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I've identified the highway we're supposed to be following. Okay, so I'm at like 6,800 feet right now. I'm going to try and level myself off at about 7,000. I'm at 5,800 right now. Okay, I'm 1,000 above you. I can see you right below me. And if I get right behind my plane and try and look just over the, or the little, little gap between my tail and the wings, it looks like I'm just going to make it over some hills up here, but not quite sure. So I'm going to guess we need to be somewhere around 7,000 feet. Hard to say though, because there is a a gap down there. Yeah, I'm at six thousand. Okay. So, in your OBS, when you when you talk, and you see the audio input capture and the green bar that slides as you talk. Is yours acting yeah. normal? Yeah, it's acting normal. Okay. Mine's is it's acts like it freezes all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. The, um, the video part, the preview window before it streams it out, is fine. And I believe the audio is just fine. It's just the, for some reason, if I go over and I actually click, or click on and select um, OBS, they work yeah. fine. It's just when I have, so I have OBS on my second monitor. So it's not active. So I don't know if you have it on your second monitor. Yeah, I do. Okay. Definitely weird. I've noticed that for a long time. It doesn't always do it either. Though. I'm pretty well leveled off. Yeah, I'm still not sure, you know, like to say what altitude we need. So I'm still climbing. I'm at 6310 right now. Yeah, I'm at 7013. There's a savage behind us, Nano Giga. How far behind? Who knows? But So, we're continuing along this highway past the vast World War II era bomb testing site. This is where we should be gaining altitude. How could we tell? 
if we are over a vast World War II bomb testing site. Yeah. I'm wondering if it's not just this whole area. Um, Possible. Yeah. It's past this vast World War II era bombing testing site. So I'm thinking it might be this whole plateau to the left here. No, it could be. Yeah, the part that's in the, we'll call it the middle of the lake here. Yeah. yeah this is all irrigation down here. I don't know that I would want to have been the first person to plow that field. Yeah. It might be a little explosive. Yeah. Alright, so I think this is the V right here. Part of it goes to the right and then the rest goes around to the left of that mound. Okay, and again, maybe not. Just before you reach it, you'll put a fork in the road. One path bends around the mountain, the other runs directly toward it, and so will you. So now I don't know. Okay, so we've already gone past Northwest Shore of Honey Lake. Continue along the highway, which is what we're doing. Past the vast World War II era bomb testing site and begin gaining altitude for the stretch ahead. So that's where we're at, that's what we're doing. So further down the highway, you'll see a mountain rise far off in the distance, okay? Which I do, I see a mountain rise far off yeah. in the distance. Um, but just before you reach it, so we've got a long ways to go yet before we do anything. Uh, so just before you reach it, you'll come to a fork in the road. One path bends around the mountain, the other runs directly toward it, and so will you. So, my best guess at this point is we just continue following this highway until it runs us into the mountain. We need to know what happens after that. So then head deeper into the hills and climb over the mountain. Continuing along your heading. That's showing heading 149. Okay, so we're heading 149. The other one before that, leg 2, or part 2 of leg is a 126, and I'm only heading 95. So that's. Turn a little bit more to the right here. Continue following the highway. This is the second part of the body of water. So we are just about here now. Probably, well, we're, we're following this highway. That doesn't make sense. And this one takes us off the flight path. So I'm just leaving the very southern tip of the smaller body of water there. Yeah. You've got to be around here somewhere. 
don't see at the moment. I see it. My screen shows you in front of me, but we're probably about the same spot. Oh, I see that. So anyway, that's what I'm guessing here. Head deeper into, okay, well, go back up, uh, but just before you reach it, you'll come to a fork in the road. So, following this highway until we come to a fork in the road, and then we're going to take the fork. That takes us directly towards whatever, the hill, mountain, whatever they call it. Yeah. The rise far off in the distance. Still not sure. Not, that's definitely not what I would call a fork in the road. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to keep heading straight towards that mountain in front of us and go over it. I don't know what else. So if you look at the map and you see the road, goes along I don't know it's weird because it's upside down for the way we're flying well yeah if we're following the highway that's taking us way east of where we're supposed to go so I think we should have started we need to go to the right So I'm going to do some banking to the right here. And if I look at that map now, from the point where we left the big body of water and the smaller body of water started, yeah, that's what we should have started climbing over the mountain according to the VFR map. So there should be ILS 25R to my left. And he's pretty much even with CA 11.
Okay, I'm going to site. Airport should be. Right around here somewhere. Yes, okay, so there's that body of water. I'm on the right track. So, it's going to be right down here somewhere. Okay, look at a little nav map. You see in the VFR map that body of water that's just south of C eleven? Yeah. So I see C or the I see that body of water. So we've gotta be very, very close. We've gotta be sitting down here in basically this creek bed somewhere. Are there any buildings? I'm over a building. This could be a runway here. Okay, I saw the, I see the building that I was looking at. Okay. So I am, I just passed it, the runway. Okay. see it. Coming in for a landing. Down on the ground. I'm afraid to hit shift P. I'm doing four miles an hour. I'm going to do it. Shift P. I don't think it did anything. Congratulations, leg completed. Sweet. So we can find them on our own. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. That is leg 18 completed. Um, yeah, some of these are just ridiculous to try and find, but I did find it. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. We're going to go ahead and fly the next one, 19. So be sure to check that for that one. See ya.